What's up, YouTube? I'm Super Dan the Shoe Man. This was today's pickup. You're going to see this tomorrow, though, on Saturday, because today you saw some hot pepper uh, de bomb eating dunk fire. And uh, I, I hurt myself with that one. Like the, I recorded this a couple of days ago, and the back of my throat still kind of hurts. Uh, but this is today's pickup. Today's March, what, the 11th, I guess, maybe? I think it's yeah. the 11th. The shoe came out today. Uh, I got exclusive access at finish line. I was kind of debating on whether or not I was actually going to go get it, but I feel like my finish line exclusive access streak stopped with the blue temp Yeezys because my J, uh, my finish line doesn't get the Yeezys. So I couldn't get that. I couldn't receive the e exclusive access and then purchase with the exclusive access. And I was on a really good roll before that. Uh, but today it's the Jordan 12 playoffs. First, a word for my sponsor, J-E-S-U-S uh, in Matthew 2746. Jesus is on the cross. Hey, you gotta hold the camera still. Jesus is on the cross and he cries out to God, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? In that moment, God turned his back on Jesus and forsook him so I don't have to be forsaken as long as I trust and have faith that Jesus took all of the forsaking for me. Then Hebrews 1315 says later on that God will never leave us or forsake us. So thanks for taking the forsaking for me so that I don't have to. Uh, again, this is a Jordan 12. These are my two current Jordan 12s. This is the tax, uh, almost taxi royalty that came out a couple months ago. Maybe you like it. You gotta keep it still. Thank you. And this is the Dark Concord. This was like the first shoe that I got uh, shortly after I really got back into Jordans. Um, like got back into a big time. And uh, I'm not sure that I'm gonna wear this much anymore. Put this one on and I know the shank blade in this, the carbon fiber on the bottom, this is not OG carbon, looking carbon fiber. It is nice looking carbon fiber. Um, I know that it takes a minute to uh, to break in, but um, it, it was pretty uncomfortable. The only, only one time I've worn it. Um, I had the cherries in 1997, I think, <coughs> that were white, white and red, and the, the heel portion of this herringbone traction piece came off, started coming off, and then I traded them or not that colorway of the up tempo is a different colorway um and when i saw this i saw it come up and people start talking about it and they're calling it the playoffs the playoffs no the bread was the playoffs what are you looking at you know what, you're at? Hmm? what are you looking at i just looking at that chocolate milk and That's i was cool. like but i was like the playoffs were breads. These weren't playoffs. These were like All-Star Weekend shoes. Um, but apparently we're calling them playoffs because we can call them whatever the heck we want to. I was scorned on YouTube for calling these uh, UNCs. No, those are University Blues. But these are University Blues too, I'm pretty sure. And we call those UNCs. The Obsidians are called UNCs. And number one, Nike Jordan brand likes to call this obsidian. This is not obsidian. This is navy blue or some other kind of blue. Obsidian's not blue. So we can call them whatever the heck we want to call them. And if you want to call these the playoffs, that's fine, even though these weren't playoffs. He might have worn them a little bit more in the playoffs, obviously, than he did in the All-Star game because that was just one game. But the bread was end of the season. Uh, flu game. We know, we know that one uh, pretty well, which I think was, I don't know what it was. Uh, but it was 90, 97. Anyways, um, the more and more I've seen of this on YouTube and pictures and stuff, I think I might like this better than this. Like, this is pretty OG, but this is uh, also OG, this, even though this was closer to the first colorway. Um, this one is pretty good, so I can't wait to see it. Ready? Mm -hmm. Do you know what this looks like? Uh, no. I think, no, well, maybe you do. I don't know. Here we go. I was also scorned and ridiculed on YouTube recently uh, because I quoted something, fairly, maybe not 100% quote, but fairly closely quote, quoted something from Wear Testers. I like what the, the content for the most part that Chris puts out. And uh, I know that some of the content that Chris talks about, he doesn't just know because he lived it. Uh, there was one where he was talking about the points Scottie Pippen scored in a game or a season he doesn't know that he goes somewhere else to get some information and then he brings it to youtube he goes to some other trusted source so if y'all don't think that wear testers is a trusted source for what i was talking about whoever watched whoever commented on that then uh well i think he's a pretty trusted source for a lot of things so 
It almost looks the exact same, just with the red. As what? It's just switched. Yes, it's, this, this, this is this, but switched. Yeah, but it does have red. So we've gone. I think I think we went back to some red on this one. We went back to the white on the back, which I like a lot. I, I do like the hits of red back here. I like the the silver Jumpman uh, logo, the little silver tab here too. I'm pretty sure this is more OG going back to the black Jumpman on the toe, and this is from Wear Testers. So forgive me that I found what I accept as credible information somewhere else that this is the OG looking carbon fiber. Now look this good. looks really cool, but it's not the OG looking carbon fiber. So historically, I do really like uh, 12s. I like wearing 12s because they are comfortable. I don't know why this one wasn't. I don't recall this one ever being as uncomfortable as this one was the first time I wore it. Honestly, I think I like this one better. Which one do you like better? The, the, that one. one. Yeah. yeah. I do, I think I do. Um, it's so much more like, it looks cooler than yeah. the. And I, I've heard a lot that these, that they were pretty much the same upper material and I think it's close. If anything, this might feel a little better, but it is pretty highly coated, um, which would generally, you gotta be still, dude. Which would generally mean that it's, a little bit less quality leather than something that's less quoted or less not quoted, less coated. Um, yeah, it's okay. I, I do think I like this better. I think that the bottom is going to get dirty faster. And again, from wear testers, because I watch his content and I appreciate his content. The 2015 or 16 low version yellowed really bad, which whether it yellows or not, it's going to get dirty pretty quickly. Uh, these retroed last in this form, I think, in 2012, and again, they were from 2019, or from 1997, what am I talking about, 2019? These are from 1997, and I own an OG pair of the Cherries in 97. In 2012, I was born a year later, Later. Yeah, and I was like 28, so, um, you, yeah, 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 we don't need to be doing anymore. Uh, but I, I like these. I, I really like these. They look like that. The shoe right there yeah. looks okay. It is nice. I like it. Yeah. But this is better. Yeah, because like it just looks good. This, this doesn't one. have the smell that I want. Like, it. but it, overall, it's it's pretty nice. There was something else I was going to talk about in this video. I can't remember. We call them what we want to. UNCs, obsidians, whatever. I don't remember. Um, but again, this to me, and I, and I watched Jordan play a lot in around the years of 1997. This wasn't a playoff shoe, and I don't know why we're calling this playoffs. Um, the, the, the flu game, the bread was the, the playoff shoe. What are you looking at, bro? The chocolate milk. Why did you look here? This is just a box. Let me make it big. Got it? Right. Um, I, I wasn't planning on keeping these, but now it kind of makes me want to sell these instead. Yeah, like those don't look like that good. They, I mean, they, they look good, just not as good, I think. I don't know. Yeah, comment down below which one's better. Yes, comment down below which one's better. I need I need y'all's input. Which one should I keep? I like these. I like purple. I, I like this deep, deep and vibrant purple that's on here, especially on the the lace days, the lace garments up here. Like the one, like those that I have, the purple ones. Oh yeah, you have these. Yeah, they're not that comfortable. Yeah, right, man. These are more comfortable than your Travis Scott's. They're Way just, more comfortable. They're just kind of tight on my feet. Well, that's a different story. They just might be too small. Those might have been a five. Five and a half. Yeah, five and a half still what you wear. So. I don't know. But comment down below, tell me if... You're gonna let me know if you hit. Number one, did you go for them? Number two, did you hit? Number three, are you keeping them? And is this one better? Which one? Which one is it? Which one? Miguel, still trying to talk you into eating some hot sauce with me or, or something hot while we talk about some trainers. There's some more trainers coming out. I think next week on the sneakers app, trainers are a shoe. I guess just had a look like, what the heck are you talking about, trainers? <laughs> yeah, I really thought like They're a shoe, they're a shoe. And, and the ones that came out a few weeks ago, a month or, some, a month or so ago, those are, uh, they're okay. But uh, I, 
don't know, I like them, but the, and the ones coming up, coming up soon, I like those too, so we shall see. There's all this talk about Rebellionaires being so hard to get because they're only going to be at some local mom and pop Nike account uh, shops. Uh, not going to be on sneakers, they're not on sneakers right now, yet you see resellers with just stacks and stacks of them. And uh, one of my guys that I go to pretty frequently um, for, for early pairs as well, but uh, but definitely for, for day of, he's doing pre-orders, like he's going to have be able to get his hands on probably as many as he wants is what it seemed like. So. Maybe they're not as limited as we thought. I don't know. Oh, I, I remember watching a dude on YouTube, and somehow he did this unboxing video, and he bought like a thousand yeah. pairs of shoes. Not that many, but he gets big. Some people on YouTube get really big, bo like mystery boxes of shoes. That's yeah. I, I hope, hope I can do that one day. One day. Yeah. You'll do it one day. One day. One day. What else can we talk about? There's something else I wanted to say. The thing that you wanted to say is tell your grandma and subscribe. Oh yes, you're right Atticus. Tell your grandma, make sure you're subscribed, ring the bell, smash the like button, go back and watch the spicy food videos, because I, I just I put a lot of hard work into that, like I kind of hurt myself. It's kind of funny. It's yeah. really funny. I, I think it's funny. Atticus thinks it's funny. Asper didn't really think it was funny. She thought it was pretty stupid. Um, but I think that's why, that's why I think it's funny. So. Uh, do all those things. Let me know if there's other kind of videos you want to see. We're at 1,600 subs now. We had 1,600 subs this morning, and we're we're on the way. On we're the way at 1,600 and. No, 1,600. I said 1,600. That's 1,600. Yeah, so we're That's almost it. we're almost at 200 we subscribers. No, no, 200 views. No. Yes. We're almost at 2,000 subs. We need to get to 2,000 subs, and. Uh, we're gonna have a 2,000 sub giveaway, so comment down below if there's any of these shoes. These could definitely go in. I mean, they're used and uh, not heavily used, but they're definitely used. Um, if you gotta have these, though, I need a bunch of comments to hold on to them or to not wear them. But, uh, if you do get them, smell them. Right. If you get any shoes, smell them. Right, you gotta smell them uh, just to see. These weren't worth smelling, but I had to know. So, uh, take care, y'all. See you next time. What are you doing? <laughs> You're so pretty. Say bye. Juice. <laughs> <laughs>